And Oedipus broke in at that point, raving up and down the hall and shouting for a sword so that all our eyes were fixed on him and we all forgot what she was doing. That wife of mine, that wife and mother, he shouted. Her fertile belly, twice it's been harvested, me and my children. Then he suddenly made for the door. None of us told him, as though some premonition suddenly told him she was there. He bellowed and shouted and shoulder-charged the doors and kicked them till the bolts and hinges shattered, and he stumbled in. We saw her slowly turning in the air, swinging slightly like a pendulum, strung up by the neck. She'd hand herself. The king ran to her, loosed the ropes, and lifted her down, all the while groaning heartbreakingly, like an animal. He laid her gently on the floor, and then... This was unbearable. The worst of all. There were two golden brooches pinned on her dress. He opened them up, lifted them high in the air at arm's length, and plunged them down into his eyeballs, screaming and groaning that his own guilt and suffering were too great for his eyes ever to see it, that now they would both be in darkness forever, that he would never see again those he should never have seen, nor ever love those he should never have loved. That's the way he went on, cursing himself and stabbing his eyelids again and again till his face was a mass of blood and tears. Not drops of blood, but like a thunderstorm or cloudburst gushing down his cheeks. Has he any relief? 